guys, Trace from Purple Cats Quilting. Welcome to the sewing room today. Happy International Quilting Day. I'm just waiting a minute or two here. She sent out an email earlier today um, talking about International Quilting Day and just a fun quick project that Uh Oh Creations has um, a pattern and instructions on her website. And a while ago, she um, custom made the pattern for us. We had a quilt retreat here a few weeks ago. And um, the first night, it's like, when you're at a quilt retreat, it's eat, sleep, quilt, repeat. And so everybody had to show up in their pajamas after dinner um, for this special project. And our project was to make this sleep mask. And it's a cat sleep mask. So I wear a sleep mask every night. So it's, it was kind of fun. Um, there's a picture on our website where everybody's sitting around in their jammas with their masks on. Um, so I love that Tara custom designed it for us. And one of the things that I really liked about it is we use Shannon Cuddle. Um, Shannon Cuddle is a beautiful, soft, usually used for the back of quilts. It's, it's one of my go-to quilt backs, but we used it to make this mask because it's really soft um, really nice on your face, good for your skin, um, but you can make the mask out of cotton. I made mine out of tulip paper flannel a few years ago, um, just love them, um, but I love it with a cuddle, and I thought I'd just talk to you a little bit about it and show you how we do it just a little bit different, because Shannon Cuddle um, really has, um, because it's kind of got a nap and a pill um, you have to be really careful so and it has a little bit of stretch too so we do have kits available to make a mask like this although I did add the eyelashes to it um, we have kits on our website and in a kit you will get the really pretty it's by Annie's actually um, elastic um, beautiful you get a piece of fabric and it's going to be they're going to be random. They're going to be like shades of purple. So we've got Alice in Glass, Tula Pink, whatever you get is um, kind of luck of the draw. Then we've got that beautiful pattern in there. Um, we have EB Fuse Light or SF 101. We have Thermalam Fleece and a piece of the Shannon Cuddle in the purple. Um, to go with it. So that's what comes in a fabric kit that we have on the website. Um, I put the link actually to a blog that I just did today talking a little bit about this and also it has your pattern piece there that Tara was kind enough to send me a link to. So on our blog you can get this pattern piece to print out yourself and make one right now um, and send me post some pictures of the masks that you make. So the most important thing when you're printing at home is to print at 100% when you're printing from your printer or your phone. So that's something that's really, really important. A really good pattern designer like Tara Sinclair of Ao Creations will put a one inch um, square on there for you to, um, to check your pattern to make sure you've printed it right. So what you do is you take um, a ruler and you put it in there and you're gonna make sure that that one inch square fits in there. So that's how you check to make sure that you've printed your pattern the right way if you're not quite sure. All right, so the first step then is I cut out my pattern piece and then I took my fabric and I fused the B Fuse Lighter, the SF101, to the back. So if you're new to these um, products, these are bag making products. Um, EB Fuse is an interfacing. There is uh, a fusible glue that is heat applied. So it faces the back of the fabric. Then you take it to the iron, like your tulip pink iron, a really nice hot iron, and you're gonna press it down really, really good. You're gonna use some steam, lots of heat, get a good bond. Then you're gonna take your um, Thermalam fleece, which is like really nice for quilting and things like that. I use placemats. Um, we use it lots in bag making and it also has a fuse to it. So you're gonna fuse that down on top of the SF-101. You're gonna take it over to your iron. Now, it doesn't like heat that much on here. So what I do is I turn it over and I use lots of heat from this side. 
So I get that on there really good um, with lots of heat. Now I've got that sandwich with the fabric, the SF-101 and the Thermalam fleece. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pattern piece and I'm going to trace it on there. And I'm going to make sure that I get the marks on the side here for where our elastic is to go around our head. I'm going to cut that out. What that looks like now is this. I'm going to take elastic and there's elastic included in the bag. And what I do, just to, I've given you a little bit extra, is I make sure oh, it's going to fit. Yeah, maybe I need to trim it a bit if I have a smaller head. Then the right side of the elastic, there's different kinds. Elastic is kind of shiny, very stretchy, but it's nice and soft. It's not too tight on your head. Um, the shiny side goes towards the right side of the fabric. So pretty sides together. And I put it on the marking there at the side. And I usually just clip them. I also clip this extra elastic in the middle here just to hold it so that it doesn't um, move around. I pin it to the back there. And so I clip it, make sure they match. Now I'm gonna take this. So normally um, in the fabric, when you're making fabric ones, you cut them out and then you sew them together. But for this one, you're not going to trim this Shannon Cuddle till the very end. So what you're going to do is put right sides together. You're going to put your pattern piece on your Shannon Cuddle. Then you're going to pin it down in place. A couple pins around the outside. And all of this is outlined in Tara's pattern on her website. So I'm going to, the link, I'm going to put the link in this video as soon as I'm done for Tara Sinclair's um, website. You can go and you just have to sign up. I think it's a free pattern. You just click it. It's free. You just sign out and you get it. So now I've pinned it on to the Shannon Cuddle. So I'm not cutting it till after I'm done sewing. So now I take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. Now, I have to leave an opening at the top here for the pattern. I leave an opening at the top. So I'm just going to sew a quarter inch seam all the way around. So see what that looks like on the back? You can already feel where this is getting really soft and fluffy. So now that I've done that, now I'm going to do my trimming. And when you see, there's a little bit of cuddle here I usually trim over a garbage can. I know when we are at retreat, we just asked everybody to stay in the same place because you get the Shannon Cuddle. It comes off in little pieces. We use our little shop vac or um, little portable vacuum. Makes it really easy to clean up. But it is totally worth it for a little bit of what we call it minky poo before that's what we used to call it so see you can see there's a few little pieces here just sweep them off into the garbage now we've got this so now we're going to flip it we're going to just turn it right side out and right side out hope everybody's having a great day i hope you'll post pictures of what you've been sewing on today as soon as you get your mask made, I'd love it if you post a picture. It'd even be more fun if you were wearing it in the picture. So there already, look how quick that project is. It makes a beautiful um, gift. Um, I know one Christmas I made everybody face masks for Christmas. Um, of course, you can customize them to what they like. So now you're just going to fold over that top little part there. And you could clip that if you want. And be very careful with the Shannon Cuddle. We're not going to use our iron anymore because Shannon Cuddle is um, very heat sensitive. If you need to press, just press from the cotton side or use a pressing sheet or something. So once we get, make sure we poke out those ears because that's the best part of this whole mask is the cat ears. And of course it's purple. So we're just going to clip that, then we're going to go back to the sewing machine. We're going to top stitch around the outside about an eighth of an inch, inch seam. That will help close this seam here. 
and there you go top stitch it down I added this is some um, some uh, vinyl um, fused vinyl um, that you can use for applique and stuff that I put my little lashes on there um, yeah so I hope you love this tutorial we have the kits on our website um, Happy International Quilters Day. Um, thanks to Tara Sinclair of Uh Oh Creations for this fabulous pattern. I've made so many of them and for customizing it and making it the Purple Cat face mask. So like, share, comment. Love to see what you have. Purple Cat's Quilting, Rimby, Alberta. Um, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and our YouTube channel. Have a great weekend.